Welcome to Drunk Movie Day, everybody. I'm Kyle, your host. Hope you're having a nice day or a nice night. Summer's coming to an end, which means it is time for September movies. The cream of the crop, the tip of the top. It is a rainy day outside today, which means it's the perfect time to go to the movies and have some libations. I've brought somebody on the show today who's going to knock your socks off. He is an illustrator, a musician, a comedian. You can currently catch him on the Hallmark Channel's newest movie, Erotic Deception, The Eric Burner Story. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a very warm welcome to Emmett Hall. Socks have been knocked off. Oh! Erotic Deception. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? I'm in it. <laughs> but have you seen it? I think they really fell off around two or three, didn't they? Wow. Number four is going to be pretty good. How's your day so far? It's okay. I, I just got over a hangover about 20 minutes before arriving here. So. Emmett's an alcoholic. We get it, Emmett. You have a drinking problem. I'm working on it. Emmett, uh, you watch movies, right? I watch too many movies. I thought you were going to say you watch two movies. Yeah. I've seen two movies in my life. Yeah. One was Erotic Exception 3. Yeah, Erotic Exception 2. And I refused to watch the first one. Yes, of course, because you're in it. As a child. I was, I was a child actor at the time. Father brought in... My mother died mysteriously. We brought in the nanny to take uh, the young, beautiful nanny. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had never trusted her, though my dad fell in love with her. And then da 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 mm -hmm. Two, three, and now... Uh, and then I, I've graduated from college and I'm coming back to the old manor. I inherit the manor, I come back, it's a mess, it's a pigsty, so I bring in someone to, a uh, butler, who happens to be a beautiful young woman, but she's got some, uh, issues. Erotic deception. She got, she's deceptive erotically. Gwendolyn's <laughs> <sighs> 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 been staying in the stable house this whole time. I've got so many memories here. Something doesn't feel right. She's driving me crazy. What the? So many knives. Nobody owns that many knives. That's weird, Gwendolyn. What? Seductrix? Wait, this is the kind of pill that makes you horny for people. She been putting in my food? What's going on? Emmett, let me ask you a question. Do you like being spooked? Oh, I know we're watching. Do you like to be startled? Oh. Do you like to be creeped? On the count of three, let's say what movie we're going to see today. One, two, three. The, the Nun! Nun! Wow! Yeah! <laughs> oh! This is a movie that's part of the Conjuring shared universe. Oh, I'm not familiar with any of them. Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, Annabelle about a killer doll, and then a prequel, Annabelle Creation. Bah! Huh? Get thee to a nunnery! <coughs> ah! Let's go! Oh, this is great. He was person designed to stick up. <laughs> Me. I'm a penguin! I'd like to offer a great big hi there and hello to Sister Mary Clarence. This stuff is terrible. It tastes like... There are three vows every nun must... To the nunnery! Ava Marie! To the nunnery! To the nuns. Charcuterie, Kyle? Oh, please, thank you. Is this a brie? Is this a soft brie? We're back! We saw the nun! We did. What a what a thrill ride of mediocrity we experienced yeah, today. Yeah, you know what? It's appropriately named the nun, because I want none of it. The movie opens with nuns walking through a hallway filled with crucifixes. A basement full of rickety old crosses and a mist machine going out of control and two nuns walking through. Well, that's when I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a big goof. You... They tricked you. Then it went on to be, and I wrote down um, a Black Sabbath album cover where it was filled with upside down crosses, 
crows, uh, scary figures standing no. in the uh, thickets. Look at Black Sabbath album one. It's uh, Tony Iommi and Ozzy Osbourne going, So on the next album cover we were thinking, look, the idiot boy comes across a nun who's hung herself. Hanged herself? Hung herself? Hanged? I don't know, what's the fucking... What's the fucking grammar? I want to get it correct, the professionals. For me, it was a 17-year-old high school student during creative writing discovered the works of Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> yep. Whoa, what if there was like like a cross, but like there's too many crosses, and then there was, I don't know, like a crow on one of them? What if there's a cross with like a crow on it and rosary beads? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just, <sighs> I don't know. Miss Williamson, all I'm saying is that I forgot to do my report. Where are you? Uh, Nun commits suicide in a cr uh, weird cloister that no one really talks about. Agent Burke is sent on the case, uh, teamed up with a sister who's got weird visions but has no actual connection to Romania. So we don't know what the weird, why she's doing it. Yeah. Cut to Romania. They meet up with their witness, Frenchie. Take it over. Who's their favorite character in this movie? Ah, uh, by default it's Frenchie. I don't want to like him, but I have to because he is a French Canadian living in Romania. At one point during the movie, while he was talking, it sounded like gobbledygook every time he talked. That and he would go. I've been living in Romania for a long time, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm still scared. Where the fuck? Jesus! I'm gonna have to eat all these crumbs when you leave. It's not my cracker. The movie has the standard point of any horror movie where a bunch of fucked up shit happens to the main character. So the priest gets buried into a grave, covered with dirt. The nun has to save him. They wake up the next morning and I'm like, let's, let's investigate more. Insane shit. And the response is, that was weird. Should, we should stay. We should figure this out. The Vatican gave us a file folder. Yeah, I mean, so. I enjoy in movies like this where they use wind machines still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're still keeping yeah. wind machine businesses in business. And the wind machine instigated the scene where, what happened? One, two, three, none aside. One, two, three, none, none aside. aside. Are you trademarking that? I'm trying to. It's going to be your bazinga. Yeah. So you're saying that Star Trek and Star Wars are... The same? Uh, I don't think so. None aside. <laughs> I would say the most money that went into this movie was for spare wood that made all of <laughs> yeah. the crosses. Yeah. I appreciated that the last 30 minutes of the movie just went balls to the wall. I felt like the ending of this movie, all of the producers went to the bathroom or went to lunch. And the director's like, okay. Let's, we, let's do weird shit! Let's do weird shit! So, uh, fucking, have you guys seen the video game Silent Hill? Oh, you have? Okay, great, yeah. Put a fucking bag on his head. Put a fucking bag on his head. Put a fucking bag on his head. Uh, I don't know, blood? Random blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random blood. Uh, somebody, uh, when they move, they go... Yeah, <laughs> you were concerned about jump scares going into this movie. It was, though. Did, did you feel jump scared? The jump scares were delivered on a platter. If the platter was a charcuterie plate, it would be crackers, cheese, olive, and a nun slowly approaching with loud music. <laughs> yeah. Wine time is over. <laughs> oh, that changes a lot of things. You know what? Before they got their shit together, they could have made a pretty good choir. All they needed was Whoopi Goldberg. And you know what? You brought up a good point about. I make a very good point. In always, I make a very good point. In the Conjuring Two, we find out about this nun through a painting. So I wanted us to do a quick drawing of what this nun meant to us, what this movie meant to us. Piece of paper. I've got art supplies. Oh shit, that's the same color. Whoa. Here's mine. 
No. Why do you give her a big boner? <laughs> is it to make up for the fact you can't draw? I can draw boners. My image is scarier than the movie itself. But my boner is bigger than any boner in the movie itself. And that out of 10 spooky, spooky haunted houses, what do you give this movie? Mm, this movie blows. <laughs> It's and you, Kyle, where do you where do you stand in terms of your uh, I don't know, like your five own... out of ten. But if it was a one, does that mean it would be a really fun experience because it was that bad? No, 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 no. You know what? Then I give it a seven. Perfect. If you have a fun comedy buddy to hey. get you drunk and to lean over and talk shit about, then it's great. On a level of seven, like it's so bad that the great experience is dropped down to a Perfect! Seven. So don't see this fucking movie on your own. We did the work for you. Don't see it on your own. <laughs> what, Kyle, stop screaming and turn on the regular lights. I'm just trying to have fun. Mm.